All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about camber. And camber is just another one of the many changes that we can make to the front end of our go-kart in order to increase or decrease the grip in the front end. And with a camber change, basically all we're doing is we're going to be changing the angle of the kingpin bolt that goes through the center of your stub axle in order to make a camber change. So with our go-kart, we've got these two pill bolts. One sits on the bottom of the stub and one sits on the top of the stub. And in order to make a camber change, all we're gonna do is rotate the top bolt clockwise or counterclockwise in order to increase or decrease the amount of camber. So unlike in the caster video when we rotated both for a camber change, all we do is rotate the top. So if we're looking at our tires and say both our tires are vertical like this, if we wanted to decrease camber, we would tilt the wheels in like this. And that's, that's obviously an exaggeration. You would not you wouldn't never tilt them in that far. And this would actually decrease the amount of grip in the front of your go-kart. And if we wanted to increase the amount of grip in the front of our cart, we could add positive camber, which would tilt our wheels out like this. And that's gonna give you more grip in the front of your go-kart. So with that in mind, let's go take a peek at the cart and I'll show you how I make this change. All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make camber adjustments to the front of my go-kart. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at our king pin bolt. We've got the stub axle removed, so you can visually see this bolt move when we make this change. If you've already watched the caster video, you're gonna notice that this bolt doesn't move anywhere near as much as it does when you make a caster adjustment. This camber adjustment's a real minute change. This king pin bolt doesn't move a whole lot. So say I'm in a situation where we need a little bit more front grip in the go-kart. Say we're running a set of tires that's just about spent. Normally in a practice that we would run into that situation and we're just trying to get the last few laps out of them. Or say we're in a rain race and we need some more front grip. What I would do is put in some positive camber. So in order to do that, I would just spin just this top bolt clockwise, just like that. And that would be the maximum amount of positive camber that I would want to dial into this chassis. That obviously adds grip to the front. So say on the opposite side, let's move this back to our neutral setting. Say we're in a situation, we've got a brand new set of sticky tires. There's a lot of grip on the track. And for whatever reason, we've got just too much front grip. If we go ahead and we put in some negative camber, that will remove some of the front grip of the go-kart. So to do that, all we would do is spin just the top bolt and we would spin it counterclockwise. And that right there would be about the maximum amount of, of negative camber I would ever dial into this go-kart. Something that you're gonna wanna test out at the track, we normally run just neutral camber. The only time I really find myself messing with camber adjustments is when we ran our two cycle motor those tires were just so sticky and there was so much grip on the track, we had to, we had to put in a little bit of negative camber to help combat that the grippiness. And if I'm in a rain race and for whatever reason we need more grip in the front of our go-kart, I will definitely put in some positive camber before I would ever decide to dial in some caster. So something you're gonna need to test out at the track, find what your go-kart likes to run. Your adjusters may be a little different, but it's all the same process. Basically, we're just adjusting the angle of this uh, kingpin bolt in order to increase or decrease uh, the camber angle. So go ahead, test it out for yourself, and have a good time at the track.